Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you five ways that I'm updating my wardrobe this spring and as you guys know I'm really trying to overhaul my wardrobe and add in a few statement pieces and things that are really going to spice things up and this is a really exciting one for me because it's a collaboration with Ukes which is one of my favorite online e-stores. If you guys haven't checked it out all the links are going to be down below but essentially it is this great online marketplace which really just caters to all budgets. You can get things for really affordable prices but you also can buy a lot of designer things and one of my favorite things about it is that they actually sell a lot of off-season pieces or should I say older season items so I quite regularly will go on there and have a look for shoes that I might have missed out on the first time around. Like for example one of the shoes that's actually currently on the website are these opening ceremony mules which I picked up a couple of years ago and you can now buy them on Ukes. They're are in the black version so I will link them down below in case you guys want to check them out these are probably one of my favorite and comfiest pairs of shoes so it's kind of nice to see them pop up on Ukes and another pair that are actually on Ukes are one of my favorite sandals that I've ever owned and they were also from opening ceremony and they have kind of like the western style and they also have the pair that I have so I'm gonna link those down below as well in case you guys want to check them out as they're just such staple classics for your wardrobe. I'm really really pleased with these updates and I'm going to show you guys also a couple ways that I'm going to be styling these. So I'm going to start with the first thing and that is graphic prints or just prints in general and I think for me graphic prints is the best way to really ease myself into adding a bit more printed to my wardrobe as you guys know it tends to be a lot more monochromatic and I tend to go for things that are just block color as opposed to printed but I spotted this tunic from Marnie and let me just check I've got it the right way around here we go um, it has a deep v-neck in the front and in the back which I love and it has pockets as well um, and this just kind of flares out slightly in a-line style and on me this is long enough to wear it as a mini dress I think if you were shorter than I am then you could definitely wear it as a dress on its own I can too but just have to be a little bit careful about bending over but I love that it's got pockets and this is definitely one of those things that I'm going to be layering a lot with my wardrobe I love the idea of wearing this with a white pleated skirt or alternatively pairing it with a black skirt just to kind of add a little bit of length and then wearing a little white shirt underneath and maybe even a little black ribbon at the neck. I just think that that is such a cool look and it's almost like a pinafore in a sense but I just thought that this would be a really great way to update my wardrobe and just add a little bit of edginess and I love the splatter print. It's almost like a like a paint splatter print which I just think looks really cool and definitely perfect for the upcoming season. The second way that I'm planning on updating my wardrobe is with colour. And pink is definitely something that I've been favouring a lot, in particular for spring, and I really think that Pantone's colour of the year has just a little bit of something to do with it. But I saw this skirt and I just felt like it was exactly what my wardrobe needed. And this is from D Squared and it is probably just going to completely blow out in colour on camera. Uh, I was trying to film the cutaways earlier and it's just such a bold and vibrant fuchsia hot pink. It is so cool, this is such a sweet little mini skirt and it looks really great with just a simple striped tee if you want to wear it really casually or with a white blouse. I've got this really pretty um, white blouse which has a couple of ruffles at the hem which looks really nice untucked but I just think there are so many different ways that I could wear this and it's great to be able to dress it up and also dress it down even with just a nice slouchy jumper and the fact that it's a mini, I haven't had a mini in my wardrobe for a really long time, I've definitely been lacking in them and so from that perspective it's just such a great all-rounder for me but I just love the colour and I get the feeling this is going to be getting quite a few outings in my wardrobe this spring. The next update that I wanted to give my wardrobe was a fresh, just plain black heeled sandal. This is just my absolute go-to. It is such a staple for me in the spring and summer months and after my opening ceremony ones broke, which coincidentally are actually available on Ukes at the moment. I'll link it down below, but if you're a long time subscriber or follower of my blog, you'll know exactly which sandals I'm talking about. They're very plain with kind of a crop embossing. Yeah, I, they got destroyed a while back and I've really been needing a replacement and I spotted these ones from Andrew 
Cantini and they're 100% leather made in Italy. They've got this perforated detail here across the toe and I love the fact that this is a suede finish so it has a lot of sort of stretch to it. It is not very stiff which means it's perfect for someone like me who has a wide foot and I like the fact that this is just a really structured kind of ankle strap. I just think that this is such a perfect shoe and it's actually what I'm going to be wearing later today after I finish filming this video but I just love these and I think they are kind of like the perfect spring addition to my wardrobe and they come in so many other different colors. I mean black to me is just obviously the easiest thing particularly if you're going to be wearing a bright color like these look so great with that D squared mini skirt. These are just going to get absolutely thrashed this summer. They are super comfortable and I just know that they're going to go with all of my outfits. I think probably the easiest way to update your look or just have a little bit more fun is with accessories and for me I love a statement airing and so I grabbed two pairs and one is the pair that I've got on here these are from a Danish brand I believe called Skagen I'm not sure how you pronounce it but this is the little box that they come in and they have a double pearl so there is a copper colored pearl and then a cream ivory pearl at the bottom and you can wear them either way which I absolutely love I think that's really really cool and kind of a fun way like you could wear one one way around and then hold on let me just switch these up so the white pearl is at the top but yeah you could wear it so they're slightly mismatched so you can see I've got the white pearl at the top there and the rose gold one on the other side I think it's really really cute and then I also grabbed a pair from Masha by Sasha or Masha by Sasha or Sasha I'm not sure how you pronounce it but they have these super fun dangly earrings with chain and they have these really bright tassels at the bottom and I just think these are gonna look really cute with just a plain simple outfit I just really love these and I love the little big work that is on the top just near the hook which uh, you pop into your earlobe. So these are super cute and I just think a really fun and simple way to update your look. And the last way that I'm planning on updating my spring wardrobe is with a printed pouch. And this is actually probably more of like a, um, there's actually probably more of a cosmetics pouch or something like that, but I really do think that you could just grab this and go. This is from Mac by Marc Jacobs and it is a navy and blue nylon pouch with two zippers so it's got two pulls and in here I've actually just got all of my makeup at the moment I just think it is such a great way to just have this in your bag and you can pull it out and it's just a little bit of fun but also I think you could just pop your card case in here, your keys in your cell phone and you've just got the essentials and it's almost just like a little party pouch that you can grab and take with you and I do love a printed bag. I do think that it is a really great way to just add a little bit of something extra to your outfit and just make it a little bit more fun and vibrant and playful and that is really exactly what I've been going for particularly with these pieces. I I think you can tell. It's definitely a huge detour from the type of pieces that I have been adding to my wardrobe in the past and I'm really, it just makes me really excited for the spring season and just how I'm going to be mixing and matching my outfits. And I've actually done an entire blog post just on these new spring wardrobe editions as well if you'd like to check them out over on my blog Mademoiselle. I'll link everything down below so you can check it out. So those are the five ways that I am updating my wardrobe for the spring season. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'd love to know which piece was your favorite. Mine I think has to be the fuchsia skirt from D squared. I just love this. As I said I'm obsessed with pink and I also just love a red mini skirt. I just think it looks so good with a red and striped tee and I can't wait to wear this particularly when the weather warms up. But yeah, I'd love to know which was your favorite and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you later. Bye.